like this was this was I've never felt like anything like this I couldn't hear anything like I couldn't feel anything like I normally feel like with people and stuff it's like I was in like a wind tunnel the King of the Ring and Queen's Crown tournaments are done, and at Crown Jewel, when the dust settled, the two new members of royalty became evident. The Queen's Crown had an upset. After the recent push Dewdrop had gotten, fans had expected her to win, but she was unable to defeat Selena Vega, who managed to hit a powerful code red to get the win. On the other side of things, the prince failed to become king, as Xavier Woods was successful in holding off Balor as he fulfilled his dream. This is wrestling up in here five reasons why Selena Vega won the Queen's Crown and why Xavier Woods won King of the Ring. Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to Wrestling Hub and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with everything in the world of pro wrestling. Vega is not the happiest star in WWE. The company already released her once before they hired her back when they realized the amount of good she could do in AEW. Vega has always been a consistent performer in WWE, working better as a manager, sure, but also performing in the ring. Vega has always been very capable of controlling a crowd no matter what. In this situation, it was best for WWE to give Vega something that would make her feel like she had achieved something. Giving her a title with Charlotte and Becky holding them didn't seem probable, so giving her the Queen's crown was perfect instead of her being booked into oblivion by the creative team. Xavier Woods signed with WWE in 2010 and since then there has been one thing that he has been chasing the most. The King of the Ring tournament might not be what it was, watching the winner to superstar like it did with Stone Cold, but it does still mean something. It was this that Woods was after, as he's always been a fan of the tournament. He called it his prophecy, pointing out he had predicted it was the one he would win a long time back. What I want is uh, to become tag, champ tag champs forever, and my favorite thing in wrestling is King of the Ring. So I want to become king of the ring. Okay. Is that coming back? Is that a little bit of a nugget of news? Oh, I have no idea. I was thinking about entering you in the king of the tournament. Why is no thanks an option? Of course. I'm mad I can't click hell yes. Let me break it down for you. I got so excited because king of the ring is my most favorite thing in all of the land. If there was a way and don't think that I haven't been trying, so no need to fill the comment section with, oh, you should tell, you should tell everybody to bring my king of the ring. I've been trying. I've been trying since I got signed in 2010 to bring back king of the ring. It is a monthly effort. King of the ring is the best. It's the best. And then when you win king of the ring, you get to be a king. So if I was ever king, that means New Day's king. If New Day's king, then there's three kings. Don't even get me started. That one thing that I would do if I had all powers, I'd make Kofi Kingston heavyweight champion. Oh, I like that! But King of the Ring is easily the greatest thing ever done in, in wrestling. So I want nothing more than to be in this tournament. Now that he has finally won it, that dream is fulfilled. With Woods as King, it's the same for him as it was for Shawn Michaels winning the WWE Championship with his boyhood dream coming true. One wrestler everyone thought would be a part of the Queen's Crown finale was Shayna Baszler. Baszler was getting a push and it seemed that WWE finally trusted her enough to give her a singles run. Baszler also was the perfect person to win the Queen's Crown as the Ace of Spades has been someone who has shown she is more than capable of holding her own. Her winning the crown would have added legitimacy to the tournament as well. It's also clear she deserves it given she has managed to remain entertaining despite lackluster booking. Though in the semi-final, Dewdrop defeated her to advance to the finals in a shock result. The only reason she was not given the honor of wearing the crown is simple. Early reports about Baszler on the main roster indicated that Vince McMahon was not a fan of her. Hopefully she still gets a big enough push that it does not hurt her and she can go after the title on SmackDown. One thing some previous kings have lacked is passion for the gimmick. While Corbin definitely had the passion and lived the gimmick of king, he was still a heel. On the other hand, Woods is clearly a face that can make it part of his gimmick. And given the ridiculousness of New Day, they can ham it up and make the best use of it that a more serious wrestler would not be able to do. If Woods could get unicorn horns and trombones over, then he can certainly get a crown over, making it clear that he is the right choice for this victory.
Dewdrop may be one of the better wrestlers out there, but she is not altogether used to the WWE style, something that has become clear through the slight slowdowns and botches in recent weeks. Dewdrop is popular with the children, and had she won the Queen's crown, she could have used her fanbase to make it her own. She is new, still learning the ins and outs of the main roster. Her dancing and other gimmicks alone are enough for her to remain popular. She will be fine without it and can do many other things to remain interesting, while getting better at in-ring work. Before the New Day on the main roster, Kofi Kingston was a single star who had established himself. Big E had also shown that he could do things in the ring. However, Woods came up to the main roster and almost immediately the New Day was formed. He never got to show the fans what he could do on his own. Every other New Day wrestler is at a singles run. Kofi got to win the WWE Championship, and Big E is now holding the title. The odd one out is Xavier Woods, who has become somewhat of a tag team god, but the same can't be said for what happens in his singles career. With the King of the Ring win, he finally has something of his own, where he has established himself and no one can take it away from him. This also provides him with the perfect opportunity to go on a singles run and show what he can do in the ring. Woods is more than talented, and given time, he could be one of the top names of WWE. He could even challenge for the likes of the Intercontinental or the Universal title. Whereas Dewdrop does not need the Queen's crown to establish herself, given Vega has not really proven herself as a competitor, the win provides her with that perfect opportunity. No matter if she remains heel or turns face with the crown, she has something to add to her. And given how good Vega is at guiding gimmicks, she could be one of the top names in the company. In the past, the King of the Ring winners have not always had the best runs. Finn Balor can't afford one more failure. He is in the middle of a career revival on the main roster, and if you want King of the Ring only to have a lackluster run, then it would actively hurt him. Woods, on the other hand, would be fine even with a not-so-good run. He can always fall back on his New Day gimmick, so he has a fail-safe that fans will enjoy no matter what. Liv Morgan is one of these stars with the biggest potential who is overlooked. Now, on Raw with Zelina Vega, it's likely the two will feud. Liv has been waiting for that push, and appearing as an underdog in front of the Queen would help her become a crowd favorite. As a result, by making Vega Queen, WWE may have provided an opportunity for a new babyface to step up. Let's be fair, more than anyone else in the tournament, Woods has been one of the most consistent wrestlers. Looking at all his accomplishments, he holds the longest tag team title reign in history with the New Day. His work on the sidelines was critical to New Day getting over, he's become an 11-time champion, and while Balor found success on NXT, his main roster run was not up to the mark. Jinder Mahal and Sami Zayn have also achieved success, but there has been no consistency. Giving it to Woods assures fans that the gimmick will get over. And these were five reasons why Zelina Vega won the Queen's Crown and five reasons why Xavier Woods won King of the Ring. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.